The charred remains of Nuke London are the backdrop for MFL action at Flumbly Stadium, which proved again today why it's the cheating capital of the league by towing every car in the parking lot to the team-owned impound next door. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Sniffle Thrills take on the Nuke London Patriots. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If you're just waking up wondering who put that vice on your head and filled your mouth with vacuum cleaner, dirt, and cattle litter, you're not alone. After all, it's Sunday, MFL game day. Hey, you look tired, Junior. And Bricks, you look like they just used your head in field goal practice. It's been all night in the ER. We ate Chinese food last night. Food poisoning? I wish. I got the chopsticks lodged in my ears again. You know, they should have a warning on them things. It's two-yard run before he stopped. And that'll be second and eight to go. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. And it's all being snagged. He got hit by a car and died. Anyone in the mood for mutant tartar? First and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big and man, he just laid the wood on him on that one and knocked the ball out. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 20. The 10. It's a touchdown. And little known facts, Orch invented the war dance because people just in general assume bloodthirsty and aggressive and they are not wrong <laughs> oh everything the defense erases the previous play by transporting the offense back in time i heard that time walk dirty trick uses advanced alien black hole technology and your entire life is one big black hole and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. They run it for a yard. Second down and nine. Gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend me. I see that song. He stepped on a pop top and blew out his flip flop. Not to mention his insides. Wasted away again, Newtonville. First down and nine. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and six. Well, he 
just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick. Catch the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when you're not young. And it's first and ten. Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. And it's first and ten. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. down in nine. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Hey, uh, Briggs, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. Thanks for telling me. I don't even get out of The first and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down and forever. Picks up two yards on the pass. Then this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. He had it for a second there. Third down and forever. be more careful when he hurdles. Now these penalties have really gotten out of hand, especially since they're fake. Uh, go to dirty tricks and hit the tag ref. It feels good. Third down and never. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And that'll bring up third down and seven.
Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he made his clothing company Lukewarm Friends. Their marketing team hates it. First and ten. Second down in a lot. Quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver, knocking down the entire... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just gimmies the home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air scoring makes anyone confident it certainly does bricks it certainly does high five First and ten. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Wow, well, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. you pay the secondary for you pay him for the pick six for this you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck second down and ten <laughs> the 
Third down and long. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. lost another line basher on that play and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Ooh, and that's what they call the money shot. And it's first and ten. in your nostril hairs once and for all. His cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. He was starting to go somewhere but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three too. You know the all you can eat buffets? Little as you think. Second down and seven. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. First and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and he held on to that one for a first down. Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And then catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. <laughs> They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. I'm gonna 
say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Second down and seven. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self out, but he seems to have worked through it. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Huh? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Well, that's a real buzzkill. Second down and ten. for steak tartare. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. <laughs> they stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strip show. Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And he breaks away. He's leaving it all out on the field today. And there's his large intestines over there, his liver. I think his spleen is stuck on that guy's cleat. No, that's a gallbladder. Ah, uh, my bad. And it's first and ten. a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. There are too many players that can't devastate and hit, knock the ball loose. The 
receiver makes a grab for five yards. Second down and five. And the quarterback calls a sonic blast, dirty trick, and throws gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. It's a six yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. his feet so well on that play he should go to lost wages and deal cards first down and it's first and ten He dropped it, you putts. Second down and ten. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Boom! Third down and ten. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why right, that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. First and ten. 
Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. That's how you run the football. I'll pick him up seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, they're all in politics, apparently. Second and three. works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. three comes to an end but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter third down and the punter is warming up the offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one that is still edible though just gotta sweep off the chart parts the kicker should make this but you know how it goes in this league. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league, we're murdered. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Grim. These guys are doing fine by themselves. They are going for it. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. They just went zebra hunting, and it looks like they got their trophy. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. Kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And that's why they call it the money shot. <laughs> It's 
first and ten. And that is called for a first down. First and ten. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. And he's off to the races. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. And goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. And I'm two fish into this bottle of scotch. The kicker died on that play. Now that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. And it's first and ten. <laughs> oh, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down and a lot. You want to get some fun on your time. Third down and forever. They'll be five fo fum. I and that's and they just smacked that one back in his face. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he's gonna chat. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Oh man. Just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy low hands 
knows it's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. Uh, why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon! I'm hungry for bacon! I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> the defense calls a second timeout. They really need to make a stop here. And that'll be second down and four. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Time Warp Dirty Trick to erase that last play. Having all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brave Man with a ball and didn't fall out. Hey, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? I like this. They're going for two. Hey man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And that's a catch for three yards. Second down and seven. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Uh, is killing me in the fantasy league. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, did I kill him? Ouch! Anyone in the mood for a steak tartare? <laughs> and it's first and ten. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. He's rumbling. 
stumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. The Nukes London Hatriots lose today's game. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Well, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrumpism. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every other...